let's begin. Yes. What are we talking about when we talk about the new Ukraine? Ukraine has this glorious cultural past. Which, by the way, was not a Russian construction, but a Norseman construction. The war consists of Russian aggression, but most importantly, it consists of Ukrainian resistance. No one ever expected Ukrainians to be so united fighting the aggressor. I mean, these are very tough guys, right? Freedom. Freedom uh, as a value which you are ready to, to die for. We want Ukraine to win. It could end this year. Hello and welcome to the 2023 Kyiv Jewish Forum hosted by the Jewish Confederation of Ukraine and Tablet Magazine. Isaac Herzog was a guest of the last Kyiv Jewish Forum right before the start of the war. At the end of 2021, Ukraine and Israel celebrated 30 years of establishing diplomatic relations and honored the memory of victims of Babi Yar together, with President Herzog coming to the memorial ceremony in Kiev. A few months later, Russian missiles flew into Babi Yar. Today, Isaac Herzog is a guest of our forum again, speaking on behalf of the people of Israel to the people of Ukraine. Shalom, my friends, from the President's residence in Jerusalem. It was only a little more than a year ago that I trod upon the sacred ground of Babi Yar, that site which tells so powerfully the story of one of the darkest chapters of human history, also tells a major piece of both Jewish and Ukrainian history, which are so closely and eternally bound to each other. What has happened in the short space of a year since that visit is difficult to comprehend, let alone to put into words. Lives have been turned upside down, families and communities ripped apart, a world utterly transformed and shuttered. My friends, Israel stands with you, our Jewish brothers and sisters, and Israel stands with the entire people of Ukraine in this hour of peril and war. I've spoken to President Zelensky and I've expressed my support for the people of Ukraine and for his leadership. My wife, Michal, has established a special connection with the Ukrainian people. She's also sought to use Israel's experience contending with war conditions and post-traumatic stress to help bring healing to people whose lives have become imprinted with so much pain. We carry you in our hearts and we continue to show up with the resources of minds, hands and bodies to offer aid and assistance. My friends, I'm grateful to this forum, which continues to bring people together to think jointly about how to lean in to the resources of community and connection, even in this difficult hour. I thank Ina Yoffe, director of the Jewish Confederation of Ukraine, and Boris Lozhkin, its president, as well as Tablet Magazine, and all of you tuning in from around the world who are bringing your presence, attention, and care. I send blessings of strength and share my deepest hopes for a more softer and kinder future. I'm carrying the deepest fraternal blessing of peace from the city of Yerushalayim, whose name means peace. And may it embrace each and every one of you in a spirit of healing and comfort. Yisa Hashem panav elecha, v'yasem lecha shalom. Toda rabba. Mm -hmm.